what is up spooky fam thank you for watching shows and charms today is june 23rd 2023 and it's a big day because it is the first official halloween slash fall decor hunt of 2023 that's right light up those jack-o-lanterns sound the spooky alarm and pour yourself a nice hot cup of pumpkin spice coffee because today we are going to find fall y'all and i'm obviously i'm super excited but i'm trying to like temper my expectations a little bit because i mean it is late june so I'm not expecting to walk into like the mother load of Halloween decor or find some spooky pumpkin wonderland. But I do think we're going to be able to find something fall. Maybe a pumpkin. Maybe a scarecrow. I mean, I'll be happy just to find something orange, to be honest with you at this point. So uh, we're going to go to a couple different places. Mostly like uh, craft stores because those seem to be the first places that come out with stuff. So the first place we're going to go is Michael's. And then we'll maybe hit Hobby Lobby and like maybe we'll even pop into party city and see if they have anything at all again not expecting too much i don't want to be let down but the fact that we're even going on this hunt is super exciting now we're about to uh pull into michael's here so we're gonna go in there and see what we can find hey kids we did it we found halloween crank up the monster mash it's officially spooky city okay 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 it's just fall floral but you gotta remember this is the first fall of anything that i've seen in like over eight months something as simple as a harvest bouquet with pumpkins was like a shot of autumn serotonin check out these little autumn rodents not exactly my style but they're holding tiny pumpkins we got some false signage here, the obligatory pumpkin spice and everything nice, gotta love that. Give thanks and eat pumpkin pie, that could be my life model. They had this fabric garland, I, I don't know if that's a new thing or not, I had never seen it before, but I really like this scarecrow one, I kinda had to touch it. Quick note, I forgot to plug my mic in after I left Michael's, my mistake. So we're just gonna head straight to Hobby Lobby now. I wasn't sure what to expect from Hobby Lobby because I hadn't been there in years, but I was not let down at all. They definitely had fall scarecrows, fall floral, and pumpkins as far as the eye could see. Speaking of pumpkins, if you were in the market for just plain pumpkins, I think Hobby Lobby is the place to go. I mean, they had small pumpkins, large pumpkins, ceramic pumpkins, pumpkins with cute sayings, craft paper pumpkins, artsy pumpkins, light up pumpkins, knitted fabric pumpkins in multiple shades, pumpkins with pumpkin pie recipes, wood palette pumpkins, pumpkin doormats. I mean, this wall of fall right here is made entirely out of pumpkins. It's crazy. They also had a big selection of scarecrows with different cute autumn outfits. Here I picked up something I thought was a Halloween decoration, but it was just an actual toy dragon. I really did like these scarecrows holding signs though. That brings me to signs. I loved the big selection of signs. This pumpkin patch sign spoke to me. I was super tempted to buy one of these vertical porch signs. They were really big too, like as tall as me. Now that we have a porch at the house, I'd love to do some like pre-Halloween autumn decor with them. They're really well made and I thought they were super cute. Some of the other stuff they had was of course a good selection of fall floral, an extensive candle selection, and lots of supplies for all you spooky crafty folks out there. Overall I was really impressed with the fall collection available at Hobby Lobby. I'm definitely going to come back. Alright we just left Hobby Lobby and y'all there was so much fall stuff there like I'm like borderline about to call it spooktacular. But I, I mean, I can't do that because we didn't see any Halloween. But what we did see is a lot of pumpkins, a lot of scarecrows, a lot of cute fall stuff. Um, there was a couple things in there that like I was super tempted to buy. I didn't because today is not about buying. It's about browsing. If I yeah, I gotta I gotta like pace myself because if I start buying stuff now in June by the time halloween comes i'm gonna be like one broke and two i'm gonna have so much stuff that i won't be able to like really enjoy all the little things so today was nice just to look and that's all we're gonna do but hobby lobby was like great i said michael's was like a success because we saw some fall stuff but like after going to hobby lobby like 
sorry, Michael, you're going to have to step it up because Hobby Lobby had it going on when it comes to fall stuff. So we're going to head over to Party City because it's like right down the road and see if they have anything. Maybe won't find anything at all. And if we don't, no big deal. And then we're going to hit at home and then I'm going to be at home because it's getting a little bit late. And we don't have a lot of time, but uh, we're going to head over to Party City. So we'll see you there. We are just now leaving Party City and it was a total bust, but it is June. I'm not going to get too upset or too disappointed because we knew that there was a possibility that we weren't going to find much today and they really didn't have anything at Party City at all. I mean, like they had costumes, but I think they always have costumes because it's a party store. So not going to count that and uh, you know, it is what it is. So now we're going to head to at home. And see if we can find anything there and I'm actually looking forward to this because I always go to at home way too late and usually they're, they're already got Christmas out and I miss out on the fall stuff so I'm really excited to be going early so we're gonna go into at home see if we can find anything at all and uh, I'll check you out after oh wow we did it we found real deal code orange actual spooky season Halloween as soon as I walked in the store I was greeted by this Halloween display full of goodies the thing that popped out to me the most was this little Halloween wagon. I think it'd be perfect for a centerpiece or display. And I had to fight hard not to buy this. I hope it's still there when I come back. Let me say it again. This is real Halloween. We're talking carved jack-o'-lanterns, ghosts, skeletons, witch stuff. At this point, I really did feel like I was in a spooky wonderland. I also want to point out these empty shelves so there's more to come, which is very exciting. Found some Nightmare Before Christmas stuff. I think my favorite were these light up Jack Skellington bottles. A really nice witch collection too. That's not my typical decorating aesthetic, but I'm sure it is for some of you, so I wanted to show it. They have the cute witch signs of course. This one with different potion bottles was really cool. These big light up candles were awesome too perfect for a fireplace display or really anything lots of witch knickknacks these candle holders were cute and i love this black cat with the witch hat i also found some posable skeletons these small ones were only 5.99 seems like a steal they have mostly indoor decor which might be pretty typical for at home but it was making me itch to do some hardcore mantle decorating and hey look I found a friend. They covered so many bases here, and I think for today, at home is the clear winner. I mean, no matter what your decorating style is, they kind of had a little bit of everything. Good job. All right, we just got back in the car. We just left at home, and you guys, we did it. We did it. We went on a quest together, a ma mystical, magical journey to find Halloween, and we found it. And I'm not talking like fall harvest Halloween. I'm talking like full-blown Halloween. Like there was jack-o'-lanterns and skeletons and ghosts and witch stuff. I mean, it was great. And then it looked like they were going to be getting a lot more in. So we're going to have to go back. But you know that I really wasn't expecting to find like Halloween Halloween today. But you know what? At home, I got to give you props. Michael, what are you doing, man? Hobby Lobby and uh, at home got you beat. I mean, I, you're doing better than Party City. But still, anyway, I was so excited and so filled with the Halloween spirit that I got myself an iced coffee at the Starbucks next door. Of course, it didn't have pumpkin spice, but that's okay because guess what? You know I always keep a bottle on me. You know I always keep that thing on me because you never know when the urge to get your pumpkin spice on is going to hit. So while I'm making this little concoction here, I want to say thank you guys for watching this video. This is actually our first video and we're really excited about growing this channel and, you know, creating a community of people who like the same stuff we do. My wife, who wasn't able to join us today, will be in most of the videos. So you'll get to meet her pretty soon. And we're going to do a lot of fun stuff. We've got you know, scary movie and TV show reviews, top 10 lists. We're going to do some cooking videos. We might even take you guys on a ghost hunt with us if we decide to do that. I mean, we got so many fun things planned. And we also have three kids at home who are also uh, really into all of this stuff and Christmas and Halloween. They're going to be joining us too. So you'll get to meet them. I'm really excited for you guys to meet my family and watch these videos. Again, this is our first. So leave a comment let me know how i did i mean i've never made a video before this is my first time so leave a comment you know give the video a like 
and subscribe. I think that's what the YouTube people say, right? That would be really cool. We appreciate it. And keep your eyes out for the next video. Hopefully we'll have one soon. I'm going to enjoy my pumpkin spice. And uh, thanks again. And stay spooky.